Well, good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Rosa Center. And for those of you who perhaps this is your first time at this event, a very special welcome. And for those of you who are returning attendees, nice to see you again and welcome back. On behalf of the University of Calgary and the McCaig Institute for Bone and Joint Health, welcome to the Wood Forum 2023 Build Better Bones. <laughs> I, indeed, right? Yes, Bill Better Bones. I'm Lisa Bose, I'm your MC for today, and it's a pleasure to be back with you again. Just briefly, I am a, a longtime sports journalist, uh, a kinesiology graduate from many, many moons ago, and I'm also the author of the Lucy Tries Sports children's book series, where the mission is to encourage all our kids to be active and to persevere and to realize the benefits of sport so they can lead healthier and happier lives. And it is a real pleasure to be asked back as your MC. I take away so much information from these forums that I, I truly uh, cherish. I, I learn so much and I take them back, uh, not only for myself, but for my family, and hopefully uh, for my mom who is watching online, as I know many more of you are watching online, and welcome to you as well. To begin, it is important that we honor the indigenous lands where the University of Calgary is situated. Located in the heart of southern Alberta, we both acknowledge and pay tribute to the traditional territories of the peoples of Treaty 7, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutina First Nation, and the Stony Nakoda First Nation. The city of Calgary is also home to Métis Nation region of, of Alberta, region number three. Just a few housekeeping and technical notes for you before we proceed. So for all of you who are here with us at the Rosa Center, the bathrooms are located past the coat check by the main entrance. And we understand that sitting for long durations can be uncomfortable. So please do feel free to stand up at any point during the presentations if you need. It's, it's very casual in that sense. So please do feel free to stand up if you need to. To our virtual audience joining us today, welcome. And below the video screen, you will find the event program, which will include more information about our speakers. And you'll also notice a Q&A box to the right of the screen. And this is where you can submit your questions for our Q&A panel, which will be happening a little bit later in our presentation. While we encourage questions, they will be addressed during the Q&A panel at the end, so not in between presentations. For any technical issues that you may have, click on the technical support tab and follow the instructions that you see there. For those of us who are here in person, feel free to jot down your questions and save them for the Q&A portion. Please note that our speakers will be happy to answer your questions, but they will be unable to offer specific medical advice. Lastly, today's presentations will be recorded and the recording will be shared on YouTube and the McCaig Institute website after the event. Today's Wood Forum is an initiative supported through the Wood Joint Research Fund. Now this fund was generously established by Dr. John and Mrs. Christina Wood in 1998 and is continued by their daughter, Dr. Donna Wood, in their honor. And we are happy to welcome members of the family here today. Among them are Dr. Donna Wood, as well as Mrs. Christina Wood's sister, Margaret Southern. So wonderful to see you here, Mrs. Southern, 92 years young. And thank you so much for being here. And also Dr. Donna Wood, thank you. This annual forum is designed to bring the public and researchers together. It's an opportunity to explore the impacts of bone and joint diseases and injuries and to stay informed about the current advancements in related research. So thank you again to the Wood family for making this happen so that all of us can understand more truly about our bones, our joints, about our bodies as we continue this journey of life. Before we get into the program today, I would like to welcome the director of the McCaig Institute for Bone and Joint Health, Dr. Stephen Boyd. Dr. Boyd is a professor in the Department of Radiology in the Cummings School of Medicine. He holds joint appointments in the Schulich School of Engineering and the Faculty of Kinesiology. His research focuses on the adaptive changes in bone that occur following a joint injury or disease. Please welcome Dr. Stephen Boyd.
Thanks very much. Uh, thank you to everybody here who's at our annual uh, Wood Forum and to all those who are online as well. I, I understand there's quite a few people online. Um, before I get going, I wanted to say a thanks to Lisa as well. Lisa's been volunteering her time for this event for a number of years now, and she's really the glue that brings it all together to make such a wonderful event. So thank you, Lisa. Um, as Lisa said, I'm a professor in the Department of Radiology here at the University of Calgary. I'm a biomedical engineer, and I'm the director of the McKaig Institute for Bone and Joint Health. For those of you who don't know, the McKaig Institute is one of the key institutes within the University of Calgary that is uh, focused on maintaining mobility for Albertans, and by extension, all Canadians, uh, without pain-free mobility for all Canadians. Um, the focus of the Institute is work in the area of arthritis, uh, inflammatory arthritis, osteo osteoarthritis, and osteoporosis. We also do work in the area of performance. So we work with the national figure skating team, for example. Uh, we work with astronauts who are going up to the International Space Station. So there's quite a breadth of work that happens within the McKaig Institute, and it's all focused towards keeping us all mobile for long term. Um, mobility is one of those things that once you, when you lose it, you realize how important it is. And I can speak about that a little bit from personal experience. About three years ago, I was out mountain biking with my friends, and I fell off my bike and broke my hip. So it was a femoral neck fracture, and lying in the bed for the first time in my life, I had sort of contemplated how important mobility was to me. And I'm sure it's important to everybody else here. So since then, I've, I've recovered quite well. Uh, but I know how important it is to be able to go for a day skiing at Lake Louise, or if you want to go for a walk along the Bow River, or if you just simply want to enjoy a day or two of pain-free movement of your joints. All of that is super important for our day-to-day -day lives. And I think sometimes, it does, isn't fully appreciated um, the relevance of that to, of, to us all. So the McKaig Institute is a collection of scientists, uh, clinicians, faculty, staff, students, all working toward this goal. We've got connections, strong connections here within Calgary, but beyond Calgary to Alberta and to all, by extension, connections all across Canada. So it's a real gem to have this here, I think, in the city of Calgary. One of the um, uh, years ago, this, the institute was formed by Bud McKaig and Cy Frank and some others coming together to, with this concept of developing a research facility, research entity for bone and joint health. Bud and Cy have passed since then, but their legacy lives on, I think, in this wonderful institute. Um, this, the ability to host these kinds of events and to bring the science that we are doing within the Institute into a public forum is only possible through events like this. The Wood family has been supporting this for years. And as we we're noting, we've got uh, representatives of the Wood family here, as well as representatives of the McKaig family keeping this legacy alive going forward. So I'm very excited to uh, have this event again. Uh, it's a topic that's of particular interest to me. Um, I would also invite all of you to participate in research, to be involved. And if you look in your little grab bag, there's a little business card in there that says Mobility for Life. If you're interested, sign up, and you can actually be part of the research that happens within the Institute. So with that, I'll pass it on, because I'm looking forward to these talks. And I'm just going to give one final piece of advice as I step off the stage is, don't break your hip. So <laughs> take care, everybody. <laughs> Excellent advice. Thank you, Dr. Boyd. <laughs> Well, today we have a lineup of four experts who will shed light on the most recent research breakthroughs in enhancing bone health. We all depend on the strength and health of our bones to navigate through our daily lives and partake in activities that we love. Whether it's engaging in a sport, playing with our children or grandchildren, pursuing a hobby, or just simply carrying out routine tasks. When our bone health is compromised, we all know it significantly impacts our quality of life. Thankfully, there are dedicated individuals who devote their careers to understanding and enhancing bone health. And we are so fortunate to hear from them at the Wood Forum today.